quick question. This is going to be a pretty, hopefully an easy question for all three of you. What is your favorite set that neither of you three have designed? Oblotsky? Um, SA Retro. I still don't own it, but uh, hopefully, hopefully soon. If there ever is another round, for anyone yeah, watching they're, they're, who they're owns SA Retro, you know someone who's looking for one now. You know that I'm, there's I'm, the, I'm the, the max. You know that there's the max keys to see Retro. Um, any SA Retro without front printed legends is not an SA oh. Retro. Yeah, I know. I need those Petsky Alphas. Mm. Yeah, in theory, Signature Plastic is making it. So yeah. maybe you could use your Oblowski connections to mm. get some sets. Maybe. Hmm. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for currently. They're supposedly okay. being run for stock. But yeah, your turn. How do you yeah, they, 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 will, they will run fast. It has to be neither of us. Neither of us. So it can be Olivia, yeah. Yeah, it can't be Olivia or an Oblotsky design set either. And it can't be Handavite because you wouldn't take my answer seriously. No. I mean, I won't take your answer seriously. Maybe someone out there will, but... No, but... Uh, I would say... I mean, I was going to say yes to Oblivion because it's so versatile. Even, like, if you go with Oblivion Monochrome, it's so versatile. Uh... <laughs> but I guess, I guess maybe Jim K. Carbon, because it was one of those sets that started the mainstream thing. Like, if if you ask me next week, I probably will give you another answer. Wasn't it also the first set with custom colors? No. Jim K. Carbon was that set that nailed it. It nailed it. Oh, uh, and yeah. the, the 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 first round, it was very nice. And ninety nine dollars. It was ninety nine dollars without the tray, one hundred and five with the tray. One hundred. Yeah, it was one hundred and four. The tray yes, was a five dollars. The tray was five dollars. Yes. It was back then when when Jim K. You could buy a Jim K. set without the tray. I would always choose yeah. to buy without a tray. Same. The problem with I mean, we can talk about that. We, we, we will in a moment. We can in a moment. But, Olivia, how about you? Favorite key set? Not from either of you three. Okay. So, Honeywell for the colors, but Hyper 7 for the layout. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Interesting choices. That Hyper 7 kit was so expensive and so good. Did you buy it? Yep. Ooh. It's Respect. like one of five in the Is that world. even a question? <laughs> Respect. So let's let's okay let's 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 talk about the GMK trays. I want to hear your opinion because I think there's nothing good about the GMK they trays. So bad. They could all they, if they were always they, are, they protect the keycaps. So they protect the keycaps. Yeah, and That's they protect their, the keycaps. Um, they the help the, the the employees to sort the keycaps and check with just one side that everything is right with the set. And that's why, how many people have complained about the quality of GMK? Like scratch keycaps, lost keycaps, keycaps missing, keycaps without uh, misaligned double shot, which which are very rare to see, by the way. But the GMK trays, they do the job. They are not ideal. I, I would say that they are not ideal for shipping. They are not ideal for storing. And well, after seeing how MT3 is shipped, I mean, my, minus, the, minus the, the trace. Minus the sleeve, I know. you can stack them perfectly. So I will say my main no, main no, complaint I, it's, about it's the, the trays size. is the size. Is yes, it's the size. Not because they're big, actually. Um, I actually wouldn't mind a bigger GMK tray. The issue is like every set these days can't fit on a GMK tray, so they give you the shrink oh, wrap yeah. thing, no, right? No, and no, once no, you I. open that shrink wrap, you don't have a tray for that. You just have loose keys that go in a bag, anyways, and then you end up throwing the rest of your keys in that bag instead of having a tray. And a bag. So give me a tray that fits true. everything, or this multiple trays that can you know fold. That's that's what I want, GMK. Double if decker. you ever care hey. what I think. Hey, GMK yes. Sunstorm hey. will fit in one tray. <laughs> bold words in yes, one tray. Is that a guarantee? Yeah. No, no, it's not bold words. Just check the case. The base case it doesn't have a lot <laughs> yeah, of keys. It's very small. <laughs> and Jim and GMK Hamon it also fit. I yes, would say that if you, if I you really like the, the approach of MT3. 
if you buy the numpad add-on, then I know, it I won't know. fit anymore. <laughs> when you start buying but, add-ons, but, nothing, you know, nothing you know, fits. You, you know the best part? Hmm. Hugh is going to throw that 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 tray away, so Absolutely it doesn't matter. Correct. Just <laughs> Absolutely correct, because I'm not so, going to have yeah. one kit, but, uh, one set in a tray, and then the rest of them in bags. Yeah, I I think that's I have heard complaints regarding the trays, especially for shipping, because the trays are so long. They're like if you if you when when you, when you start shipping things, you you think that if if this if the box is a square. That's the perfect box for 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 the shipping. Like you, the the problem with GMK is that it's very long. So mm. sometimes when you do the measurements and they 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 weigh everything, they tell you, oh, we can't ship this with the, this cheap option because it is very long. It's and it, it it has the and it sucks. And if they use a different approach with a smaller trays, that may be the size of a sixty percent, and then you stack them something like that and you make it more with more height it might be better for shipping it might be much better actually it might be cheaper for smaller vendors it might be cheaper for store it might be better for storing and with gym with mt3 sarica i got a huge box with all the kits and they use the smaller trays i i don't know if they use them for mt3 the ftti sorry uh device terminal but they 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 are using them for godspeed i believe and they have they will use them for serica hopefully because they are very convenient they are small trays that fits around roughly a modifiers kit and they, they are enough for most of the with, kits uh, with the black even it's form? it's a it no no it's it oh no 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 it's different now they use a box a uh, plain car box with a tray inside with a plastic tray. I will try to find pictures of it. It's very convenient and it, it makes storing them easier. It makes them shipping easier for everyone. It's not like the like the, the PTI ones. I Oh yeah, yeah like yes. those. Yeah. I, I, I will say that with my a plastic tray. Ah. Yes, those those are those are nice. You are going to say yeah. Those Hopefully trays are I'm not fantastic. going to spill it. Yeah, because yeah, they're smaller. Before you fantastic. can ship them, you can stack them if you have multiple kits that you need to fit. Um, those those work well. Yeah, yeah. This, I would say this is from uh, this is from the Elven kit, and I have two of those to fit the entire. Kit. Yes, I would say the probably and, the best and thing the though. The shipping box is smaller. The best thing about the GMK trays is the bandolier. I've saved all of my bandoliers because at some point when I move and I actually have a wall, I'm going to like wallpaper with like the bandoliers because a lot of artists put cool designs on their set bandoliers. So I'm like, this is going to look nice. Oh, yes. That's my dream. And, it, and you have to, you have to, well, I don't know if, like, I, I did uh, use it as kind of the interest check material, like the Sarika one. But it's not something that most people are going to see after, uh, unless, like during the interest check, it's not something very special that will get you to sell more sets or not, I guess. It's something that you do just for the sake of the unboxing experience, I guess, and mm -hmm. having something nice, and you see the set and it makes you more happy, I would say. Like, at, at least yeah. for me, seeing all those different bandoliers and everyone using their own designs and showing the the, the 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 set and that you see the box and you know exactly what's going to be inside and you get more hype and excited like you see the the marble box and you know that it's modern dodge you see a red box and you assume probably it's come on you see rose gold and it's olivia and you you know just by the, the like it's just, it's an element that brings a lot of hype for the key set, I would say. Once people get it. And yeah. Like you said, you're going to you, you want to put them on a wall. Because it looks cool. Yeah. Like it's like a poster. Yeah. I think JTK makes the best trades. I I I like I like them the best except they're tight. They're actually a bit tight for my key caps when I put them in. So I, I, I worry that they'll eventually scratch the keycaps, so I don't use them. But if they improved that bit, 
I would just buy a ton of those trays because those are mm. hands down some of the best. They're hard. They're stackable. Yeah. They fold. They work pretty well. I remember I got one. I got one with um, the JTK Toxic. Um, oh, one. JTK Toxic. oh, I forgot to say that's my favorite set. <laughs> JTK Toxic. <laughs> Of course but like i actually like it. it's, it's actually a nice case to keep the keys in but i noticed yeah. it was tight because there's like three keys that i had to use like a like a little like a like a small little tool like a screwdriver to actually pry them out mm -hmm. that's how tight the keys were in the case i'm like that's worrying aside from that they're fine <laughs>